Hello everyone. Alright, on a camping adventure this week. On a Saturday we're not writing. We're doing some camping. So I thought I'd do a little video for you all. You see what it's all about. Mate with Mr. John Taylor. Hello. He's here with his hat on. <laughs> Ready to go. And yeah, we're gonna do some camping in Heligan Woods in Cornwall. Uh, I'll show you setting up later and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. We'll get back to you. So we are base camp one. <laughs> The critical campus. The critical campus. <laughs> Here we are. Getting the fire going. Ground zero. It's a lovely little spot tucked away. Bottom of Cornwall. Can't tell you where. You'll all be coming. Yeah, not letting you know. <laughs> but yeah, quiet. Just Dale's just getting up the fire. Just for a bit of morale boosting. And then we'll uh, get the stoves going. And we're going to have a bit of a cook-off challenge tonight. <laughs> I'm going to be in the blue corner with a selection of... Uh, local produce and uh, Dale with a selection of produce uh, all of his own creation I think possibly from the uh, supermarket Intense. but uh, we, uh, we'll have a vote later you, you, you guys tell us what you like best yeah. we'll check in in a bit Don't bye for now so uh, this, this is Dale's new stealth mattress uh, observe the self-inflating pump for stealth and one. God, it sounds like you're strangling a duck. It's like banging it. Oh, the duck is good. <laughs> right, so we have arrived at our camping spot. We are right on the hilltop overlooking the forest. It's a brilliant spot. We've got a little campfire going. That is actually an old wok that I brought the handle off. Turn into a little five pin, and then he's doing really, really well. We've got John over here. We've got a tarp set up, keep the rain off. John's going to be cooking himself a nice steak in a minute, I think. We'll get a bit of footage of that. And uh, this is the John Taylor who actually wrote Final Night on uh, Mr. Creep Bastard's channel, who is going to be starting our channel together in winter. A story channel um, together and he's going to be the narrator he's got good narrating voices john uh and apparently and uh what was the one we just sent in john i forget the name of the story you just sent in yeah i just sent in dark harbor uh, dark harbor that was it dropping sometime in the next month or so yeah i've read that story and it is extremely good uh so this is our setup we've got this is mine this is the gear top two which is a really, really good bivvy. Waterproof. Oh, I took it up to Scotland and it rained on me for four days solid and not a drop actually got in. This is set up with a mosquito net. And you are... Sorry about that, let's pull out a bit. That goes over, fastens up, snug as a bug in a rug. It's got plenty of headspace inside as well so you can sleep on your side. Pockets in the back. And the uh, sleeping bag is a Highland two which is a four season sleeping bag so a bit hot for summer but not too bad at all and this is john's which is well it says it's a tent but i think it looks like a bivy to me but it's a tent so it's the oex what is it john phoenix v1 the oex phoenix v uh, god that's a mouthful isn't it the oex phoenix v1 which uh I've seen reviews on them, although I've never slept in one. They're supposed to be astoundingly waterproof as well. So we'll see tonight because it is going to rain in the wee hours of the morning. Just give you a quick scan of the woodland. That fence there is actually where they keep partridges in summer and pheasant to shoot um, on this land, which I don't really agree with shooting for sport, but hey ho, that's them in it. And down there is on this slope through those trees so we can see the light is the actual path that leads through this particular forest. Now, as you're all horror fans, there is a legend about this forest. It belongs to um, the Travath 
family. And uh, they... Well, I'll tell you what. I'll come back on the next part and I'll tell you the ghost story of, of what is supposed to be in this woodland. And it's another one of the reasons that John and I are here because we're into that kind of stuff. And when we get our new channel, we're going to be doing that kind of thing on a regular basis where we are going to haunted locations and staying there as well as all the stories. And we'll give you the backstory and stuff. So I'll, uh, on the next part, I'll tell you the story um, of what's supposed to be in the woods, what I know about it personally. So bye for now. Okay, so first up we have a uh, Dale using a uh, British Army stove. We've uh, adapted as we've been on the hexi box for Eagle now, so we've uh, we're going with some fire gel, the Dragon brand, and uh, it's uh, you, Dale's made this. It's an adapted to cut down. Right? Is it a lilt can? <laughs> lilt can cut down lilt can lined with some <laughs> tin foil and a couple of twigs, and we're going to see how this goes. Yeah. We've failed at the first hurdle. No, no, no. Oh, not. there we go. She's away. There we go. There we go. Let's we'll we'll see how it goes. Check back in in about in about ten minutes. <laughs> Cheesy man. Instant packet. <laughs> but what is an instant packet is 